The aftermath of a severe thunderstorm that made its way through Canberra has revealed widespread damage and led to calls for help across the city. Uprooted trees, smashed cars and caved roofs are among the significant destruction that occurred. Various agencies are pulling together on Saturday, December 9th to help clean up and restore power to affected areas. An ACT State Emergency Service spokesperson said they received more than 600 requests since the storm hit the region. Teams from ACTC's ACT Rural Fire Service, ACT Fire and Rescue, TCCS and ACT Parks and Conservation Service have completed nearly half of these jobs so far, the spokesperson said. NSWSEs have also arrived to help with the storm response. Everts Allison Hartigan was shaken up after a 50-year-old verge tree was knocked down and smashed the car parked in their driveway. The top half of the large tree went through her neighbor's fence onto their roof and scraped down the side of their house. She said her husband didn't hear the tree fall because the scary storm was raging loudly. I've been frightened about that tree for a very long time. I'm worried about the damage. I guess I no longer have to ask, what if every time I see it now, Hartigan said. As the intense weather carried on and gutters over flooded, their neighbors came running outside to check on each other. The SES said calls for tree removals are continuing and have their hands full with cleanup requests. The XESEs must prioritize jobs that threaten community safety. Please be patient as crews from multiple agencies work through the high number of requests, the agency said. ACTISA will be providing regular updates on our emergency response progress and work underway to assist with recovery. The ACT Emergency Services Agency believe high soil moisture may cause more downed trees, even though the weather has improved. 
Please take care near large trees and while driving on ACT roads, a spokesperson said. That's Canberra there. Going in Tuggeranong. It's coming. Thousands of homes experienced blackouts during the storm on Friday, December 8th, but Actesa said they were able to restore power to more than 7,000 of them overnight. There were still 800 homes without power in the city's northern suburbs the following morning, the agency said. Today, our priority is working with our vegetation contractors to remove trees on power lines so we can then repair the extent of the damage, an ESA statement said.